Mid 10 News is brought to you by Dogra Chemist. Get 15 to 60% discount on all medicines and surgical items. Visit Dogra Chemist, Airport Road, Jammu. Jammu and Kashmir on Tuesday recorded its highest single day spike of 3,164 COVID 19 cases. It took the tally to 1,66,054. While 25 fatalities over the last 24 hours took the toll to 2,197. Of the fresh cases, 1,030 are from the Jammu Division and 2,134 from the Kashmir Division of the Union Territory. Number of active cases has reached 222,283 in the Union Territory, while 1,41,574 patients have recovered so far. The Jammu Administration on Tuesday declared 11 areas and micro-containment zones. The District Magistrate Anshur Garg extended micro-containment zone area in and around Sai Mandir, Talab Dillo, to the Tirat Nagar, Durga Nagar, Bharat Nagar, Kolonil Colony, Kabir Nagar, Hazuri Bagh. He also ordered the micro-containment zone at A1A South and East Extension Board No. 52 Trikuta Nagar had been extended to Sector 1, 2, 3, 4 Trikuta Nagar Extension, Basant Vihar, Bhavani Vihar, adjoining Easy Day and Khuwali Gali. These areas shall be under strict lockdown and tight parameters control. There shall be no movement whosoever in and out of these micro-containment zones. Jammu and Kashmir Administration on Tuesday said that the teachers who are going to educational institutes under the in-campus, in-person teaching policy will now conduct online classes from their homes in the view of the spike in the COVID cases in the Union Territory. The Jammu and Kashmir Administration on April 19th ordered the shutdown of all educational institutes in the Union Territory, including schools and universities, in the view of rapidly rising coronavirus cases in the region. The United States is sending the whole series of help that India needs in the battle against COVID-19, President Joe Biden said, reiterating that the New Delhi had done the same when this country was in the need last year. Biden has spoke at the la length with the Prime Minister at Narendra Modi on Monday and conveyed the solidarity with India in its fight against the viral disease. The President said he had discussed with the Prime Minister Modi on when the US would be able to send the actual vaccines to India. And that's being done as well. We're also discussing, I've discussed with him, when we'll be able to send actual vaccines to India, which would be my intention to do. The problem is, right now, we have to make sure we have other vaccines, like Novavax and others coming on, probably. And I think we'll be in a position to be able to share, to share vaccines as well as know-how. In the view of emerging COVID-19 situation in JNK, Principal Secretary to Lieutenant Governor Nitesh Kumar on Tuesday chaired a meeting of all Deputy Commissioners through the virtual mode and reviewed the mechanism put in place in the districts for addressing the situation. During the meeting, the Principal Secretary sought the latest status from the concerned Deputy Commissioner regarding the installation of the oxygen generation plant across the UT and passed strict restrictions of installation of the same in the shortest possible time whenever pending. He also took the stock of the number of beds available in the COVID health centres, COVID care centres, hospitals in each district and directed them to augment the same. Chief of the Army Staff General Manoj Mukund Narwani on Tuesday visited Sai Chin and Eastern Ladakh and reviewed the operational situation in the sectors. General Narwani inter interacted with the troops and they complimented them for the steadfastness and the high morale while being deployed in some of the harshest terrain, altitude and weather conditions. Advisor to Lieutenant Governor Basir Ahmed Khan on Tuesday inaugurated the Eco Log Huts and Cafeteria at Jammu Tavi Golf Course Sidra. The Eco Huts with an area of 650 square feet each and cafeteria with an area of 6,130 square feet have been constructed under the Prime Minister Development Package at a cost of 1.85 crores and 127.80 lakhs respectively. Principal Secretary, Skill Developer Department, Dr. Asghar Hassan Samun on Tuesday reviewed the status of the new polytechnics proposed besides taking the stock of the ongoing languishing projects of the Skill Development Department. 
Principal Secretary while accessing the progress on the various ongoing languishing projects being executed by SDD asked the concerned head of the department as well as the nodal agencies to complete this crucial work in time-bound manner.